What is good, guys and girls and people of unspecified gender? My name is Blaze Shadowthorn, and uh, it feels good to say those words again. Uh, I know I've teased it over the past year, uh, but this is my video formally announcing that I am making a comeback in 2019. Uh, I've decided to start uploading content, and I guess I owe an explanation as to why I stopped. I don't know if I ever really said explicitly stated it, but my capture card broke, and when it broke, I've sort of lost all interest in YouTube because, you know, Wi-Fi battles was a big part of my channel and I couldn't do that anymore. Um, but I do have a, a Luma 3DS, a uh, new 3DS, so I'm going to look into the uh, Wi-Fi streaming. I don't know what it's called. Uh, I've looked into it before and I remember I tried to get it going once uh, when I first said I was going to revive my channel like back in like November of 2018 I said I was gonna do that and I looked into it but I could never get it to work properly and then I sort of got frustrated and gave up and I was just like F the system but in light of everything that's happening um, I feel like positivity needs to get brought back to the Pokemon community and uh, I'm not stating that I'm the one to do it I'm just saying that we need content creators who will hold themselves to a higher standard and uh, I want to be held to a higher standard so you know that that's it but going off on that uh the real heart of the issue is i wanted to talk a little bit about uh, what's happening uh first off i do want to disclose that uh i personally have not been affected by this and i feel very thankful that i haven't uh especially seeing all of these people that are coming forward with stories um i am very incredibly thankful that I haven't been affected and my heart goes out to everybody who's stepped forward and you know spoken up because honestly it's the hardest thing to ever do um for those who don't know I have autism and so talking about my feelings is not very easy for me uh it's not that I don't recognize them it's just I don't know the right words to put them to say what I'm feeling if that makes sense so and and when and when bad things happen to me, I just keep it to myself and then sort of lock it away, which I think is what a lot of people do when when tragedy hits them. To so to like actually be able to go to that dark place after you've locked it away for so long, open that door, openly confront that darkness, and drag it out into the light for everyone to see is the bravest thing anybody could ever do. And I don't cry very often, but when I saw Felicity's video about what happened, I cried and I could not shake this feeling for days because it's been, I think it's been about 48, 70, 48 to 72 hours, but I haven't been able to shake this feeling since I watched this video. And I, I slept like maybe eight hours total since I watched that video. Uh, and it's been, I want to say it's been about like 58 hours since I saw that video and uh, for reference point I sleep normally like 12 hours a day like half my day is spent asleep so I've, I'm functioning on very little sleep right now but like I say I, I, I'm just so proud um, and I, I, I wish there's something that I could have done um, like I say because because I think what hit me the hardest was that all this was happening when I was actually active in the Pokemon community because if it would have happened now I'm not saying that it, it wouldn't have still sucked, but I feel like it would have affected me a lot less because I had taken a step back from the community, and so then I could justify it to myself saying, you know, I was out of touch with the community, there's no way I could have known, but this was like right when I was like, I won't say peak, because if you look at my channel, I have like 400 subscribers, like, you don't call that peaking, you call that like, okay-ish, I guess for like the amount of effort I put into it, it was pretty okay-ish. But, like I said, I was going back through my, my DMs, and, like, I had talked to Felicity, like, right at that time, like, not very often, but, like, we've exchanged messages at that time, like, and all the other people, like, I've followed them for forever, I've watched their videos, I used to, you know, idolize these people, uh, victims and, and accusers alike, and it, it really hurt, you know, because I had associated this, this time in my life with, with a lot of positives, and now that all of this stuff's being brought out and all these people are saying, like, yeah, this isn't something that's just now happening. Like, it's always been like this. Like, what you saw as a viewer 
And even as a content creator, if you weren't like in with their crowd, it was all just a facade. Like none of this existed. It was all in your imagination. Like that hurt. That stung deeper than I ever thought it would. And I like I think this is the most hurt I've ever been in my entire life, which is kind of sad. Be but at the same time, like I'm just not used to feeling things and this made me feel a lot more than I ever have if that makes any sense whatsoever so like I say I'm gonna come back and I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out the best way to phrase this without sounding like a broken record and without playing the the, the savior card because those are the two things that I feel like happen a lot is like you, you sound like a broken record you'd be like oh my heart goes out to all these people it's a terrible tragedy but that's what everybody says you know and and it, i don't know I, I guess it's just to me and maybe this is just you know my point of view but i feel like the more people say that and just people come forward like talk is cheap action speaks louder that that's what that means to me and just like it's one thing to say you're sorry but it's another thing to you know hold yourself to that standard and i feel like this 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 experience if anything it's just taught us to hold ourselves to that standard you know there, there's a lot of people that joke about stuff on the internet and you know now and myself included i, I used to joke like not nothing this severe but you know i used to to joke about stuff with my friends and i guess now it's it, it comes down to it that you know when you when you think about making those jokes you know just think about the other extreme is like not that this is what you meant to do but like what if the people you're joking with have experienced something like this and even though you're saying it in good fun and they know that you're saying it in good fun they've still experienced this before and it's incredibly hurtful to them so just being mindful of that i feel like is a lesson that we all should learn and all take to heart and um and then you know evil can only thrive when good people stand aside and do nothing and the one thing that i am thankful for for this community is that you know of the uproar that's behind this and i'm seeing all these people that i haven't talked to in years and people that i i, I have that i have idolized coming forward and saying like enough is enough this shit has got to stop and they're doing it too and some of them are coming out of retirement and it, it it's it's inspiring um, so I, I, I don't know how to end this, but all I'm going to say is that uh, you will be seeing some more content from me if if that's something that you're, you're interested in. Uh, if not, then I don't know. You probably aren't even watching this video, so <laughs> that's that. Uh, if anybody has been affected by this or any anything at all and they just want to talk, my DMs are always open. Uh, I don't know I'll be able to like offer any words of wisdom. But there's one thing I'm good for, it's just listening. Not not, not, not saying anything, just, just listening. And uh, I feel like that's sometimes what people need. Um, so I guess that's the end of this video. Thank you for watching, and uh, I will hopefully see you all later. Bye.